Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. This is Pradeep and you're watching Vlog of Note. So I've long since held that Android processors, specifically at the mid-range, kind of suck. But that just might be about to change because we've had some rumors about the Exynos 1200 with AMD. So here's everything you need to know. Let's get started. Now, there are three points I have to tell you. The first point, however, is that most Android processors in the mid-range kind of suck. Now, this is illustrated by the definitive mid-range Android processor of this year, 2021, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 778G. It has a single-core score of about 777 and a multi-core score of about 2800. This processor is supposed to be found on the upcoming Samsung Galaxy M52 phone, a phone which I highly recommend. Now, when you compare this to the mid-range iPhone SE 2020, it has the Apple A13 and that has a single core score on Geekbench of 1300 and a multi-core score of over 2700. As you can see, in single core performance, the Apple A13 processor is twice as fast as a corresponding Snapdragon processor. The second point I should tell you is that the Exynos 2200 is going to raise the bar when it comes to smartphone processors. Because again, according to Ice Universe, the Exynos unnamed processor with a Cortex A77 core. I'll remind you that next year, we're supposed to have the Cortex A78 with ARM V9. Anyway, this unnamed Exynos processor with AMD graphics has a 3D Mark score of 8134 at 50 FPS. When you compare this to the iPhone 12 Pro Max, the gold standard, with the Apple A14 processor, it has a 3D Mark score of 7400 at 40 FPS. The difference is over 20%. Finally, the gods have fallen. The third point I should tell you is more important information about the upcoming Exynos 1200 with AMD graphics. The first bit of information here is that it will indeed have RDNA 2 graphics, the same kind of graphics that are found on the PS5 and the Microsoft Xbox, both of which you probably don't have. The second bit of information is that it will be more powerful than the Exynos 1080 and less powerful than the Exynos 2100. Now here's a bit of side note here. The Exynos 1080 is arguably Samsung's best mid-range processor, which is not found on a Samsung phone. The Exynos 1080 on Geekbench has a single core score of about 888 and a multi core score of about 3200. When you compare this to the Exynos 2100, it has a single core score of about 940 and a multi core score of 3200. If you're confused about the similarity in the multi core score, the Exynos 2100 has a huge amount of variance. Anyway, the Exynos 1200 is supposed to be in between. And finally, the Exynos 1200 is supposed to be found on a $500 smartphone. Most notably, I think it will come on Samsung Galaxy A53. I've told you this already, but Samsung Galaxy A51 was the highest selling Android phone from 2020. And Samsung Galaxy A52 is probably going to be the highest selling Android phone in 2021. And Samsung Galaxy A53 with Exynos 1200 with AMD, and a single core score on Geekbench of about 950 and a multi-core score of about 3500 is probably going to be the best selling Android smartphone of 2022 and it is the AMD Exynos combination that you should be waiting for. Let me know your comments in the comment section down below. As always, please go over to YouTube, subscribe to the Vlog of Note channel, ring that notification bell so that you never miss a video and I will see you guys in the next episode.